Welcome back to The Ed Show. President Obama trying to get health care reform done. You know who his number one enemy is? His own party. The Democrats, you see, we're, we're just a big dog. Okay, you know, like a dog for out for a walk. And our name is Majority. And we're on this leash and we're being walked by our owner called Minority. And the guy who's walking us, his name is Joe Lieberman. Okay? And now this public option is getting carved up again. Senator Carper of Delaware, the brains behind the last compromise proposal, the opt out, is drafting a new watered down plan that will win the support of Democratic turncoats like Joe Lieberman and Blanche Lincoln, who isn't going to win anyway. The so called hammer, that's what it's called. It's a hammer proposal. It's not a government-run plan at all. It's going to be run by a board of directors that's not going to have any taxpayer funding at all. It's just going to have initial startup money. You know what it is? It's outrageous. That's what it is. Why are we negotiating with those who can't win in their own state when in their own state they want the public option? Now, look at this. We have gone from, let's see, a robust public option to an opt-out. Oh, let's go to the opt-in. Oh, wait a minute, we've got the trigger. Oh, wait a minute, now we're at the hammer. <laughs> Can you follow this? When these turncoat Democrats aren't gutting the public option, they're trying to screw it up other ways as well. Ben Nelson bragging about adding abortion language to that same thing that Stupak gave us. Thanks, Ben. Fight wasn't hard enough, was it? These conservative Democrats are selfish. That's what they are. They're not listening to the constituents. I think they need to be a soldier for the party right now on this issue and also support the president. Maybe we just shouldn't have health care reform. I'm serious about this. If we can't get the public option, maybe we should just say, OK, no health care reform this year. And we'll see you at the midterms, conservatives, next year. Joining me now is California Senator Barbara Boxer on this issue. I could be wrong. Congress, Senator, Senator, thanks for your time tonight. Is it time to play hardball with those conservative Democrats? No matter what we do, they get in the way of us moving forward with a public plan. What are your thoughts, Senator? Well, Ed, I listened to your, um, how could I say, tirade or your frustration spilling over and I don't agree with you that the Democrats are the worst enemy of the president on health care I really have to say I don't agree with you we have a Republican uh, party here in the United States Senate they're slow walking us to death we can't even get an amendment uh, a agreed to to vote upon so we now know that Senator Gregg has put out a letter I just read it to all of his Republican colleagues explaining how they can slow walk this thing he uses every other word but the filibuster for a full debate uh, which we know what that means it means they're never going to get out of the way unless we have 60 votes so here's what I want to say to you about your frustration there's no question that the Democratic Party in the, represented in the United States Senate is a very big umbrella it is a very big umbrella, and that brings with it a lot of frustration. If we agreed on everything, it, it was a parliamentary system the way you would like it to be, and believe me, there are days that I would love it to be. It would be a lot easier than that, you know, where you have a prime minister who says, my party will do X. You know, you kind of get it done. The House is a lot easier, too, because they don't have just open amending process, so they can kind of get things moving. So what I want to say to you is, knowing that we have this big, broad, umbrella here. It's going to be hard to get the thing accomplished, but we're going to get it done. Let me just tell you, we're going to get it done. We did have a caucus today. We agreed to stay here as long as it takes to get it done. And yeah, it doesn't look pretty as you look at each at each, you know, battle. And Tom Carper is trying to put together something that'll work. And it may not be something that I can support at the end of the day, but I think we have to try to do it because we are so close. Okay. We are this close, Ed, we are, we to are, getting real reform. We really are, Senator, and I respect your disagreement with me, but let me remind you, respectfully, that progressives in this country were told 60 votes. 
Progressives in this country were told that we were going to have real reform if we could just get the majorities in the White House. Now, progressives in this country have done this. What have we done now? We've seen single payer taken off the table. We've gone from a robust to an opt-in to an opt-out to a trigger to a hammer. We don't know. And it, the fact is, is that Joe Lieberman has said no government-run plan. The fact is, is that Ben Nelson has said not going to get on any kind of government-run right, plan. So is Blanche. So is Blanche me, Lincoln. The uh, Democrats uh, aren't together, Senator. They're yeah, the biggest I know, problem. Ed, 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 they're not. Who gave us 60 votes to move forward, and who voted? every one of them not to move forward. Well, now that we're there, that let's get vote. it done. Yeah, but Ed, but Ed, look, you know, you're always complaining about the next thing. Just take a deep no, breath. I, no, Senator, I'm not, I'm not complaining about the next thing. This is the reality of it. I take I'm people at the word. I'm living the reality word. of I, it, Well, I, do, I, I take these the people at the word. Senator, when someone tells me something, if you tell I'm me... I'm not going to argue with you. I know. I don't want to argue with you. You're, one, you're a great I, I friend. Love you. I, I love, love you. I love you, too. I don't want to argue with you. We've got a lot of love on this you. program tonight. But I'm just trying to explain this to you. You. Yes. I fought hard to get that 60th vote. Al Franken, I'm really glad he's here. And we got the 60 votes to move forward. Nobody, everyone thought the public option was dead. Harry Reid put yep. it back in. Don't give up on us. And the people out there, don't give up on us. This battle is still being waged, and we're going to get it done. And let me just say something that you may not realize. In this bill, I think you do, but maybe you, it's not in the front of your mind. We expand a government-run program called Medicaid, and we take millions and millions and millions of more people into that government-run yeah. plan. I have to check my facts, but I do think it's another 30 million. Uh, I have to double-check that. But millions more people come into that. We save another government-run plan, Medicare, by cutting out the waste, fraud, and abuse and extending its life. We help another government-run plan, the yep. prescription drug plan, by filling in that donut hole and helping people. And we have there's a lot of good bill. stuff, Senator. I, I agree I with know, you. But, but there's, a, but, there's a lot of good stuff, but to reel in the insurance industry, we I have know, got to I have mean, a public option. I'm glad you're working on it. We're out of time tonight. Now, I'm now, working on I, it. I know, I know you are. But, but mark my words, you can't trust Ben Nelson. You can't trust Blanche Lincoln. The Democrats, in my opinion, are causing the problems in all of this. Senator You're too Gray. hard on us. You're too hard Not, well, on us. You, you ought to know, look at the other side of the aisle. Well, they don't, they're, they're insignificant, in my opinion, because oh, they're in the wait. minority. We, we can go record They're some, not insignificant. Well, in my minorities opinion, minorities have a lot of rights. Uh, they and have, we have they a have, lot of rights when we're in the minority. Uh, I use those tools. Anyway, got to run, Senator. Keep on working. Bye. All right. I'm not too hard on you. I'm telling the truth. Good to have you with us, <laughs> Senator Boxer, state from California. All right.